signs of it. Have you been getting home. any uh, any dick pics from Grinder? <laughs> all, all the time. It's ridiculous. Such savageness. I know, but uh, <clears throat> but there's one I'm gonna be up on. Uh, I think I mentioned uh, to you uh, some crossdresser that uh, lives in Somerville. He's like about my age. He went to be you. You told me. Yeah, yeah you yeah. showed me him. Isn't yeah. he? Isn't is he? Is he? Is he, is he Latino? I can't tell. Asian? I don't. I don't know. Maybe like Middle Eastern or, or Latino. I'm not sure. Or maybe even Eastern European. I'm not sure. I'll find out because I was curious about that. But uh. Well, the pictures. He looked a little Latino, but. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna meet up with him on. Sunday, and like when I get to his place, I'm going, like we're both gonna like cross dress there, <clears throat> and it'll be I much prefer that being able to cross dress like in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, rather than like me trying to pair, prepare myself in the car like when I was with uh, yeah. the other one, and uh, and then how we're in public, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I like I don't know how people are gonna react. Really uh, versus like how does Shane look as a cross dresser? Does he so, look good as a girl? So the thing, so he rarely, rarely ever crosses him. He like basically doesn't do it anymore. Uh -huh. uh, in one but like mile, when he would do it, he just wouldn't make any cup. effort in doing anything. He would just like put on like yoga pants and like a girl shirt, and then that's it. He just wouldn't shave. He wouldn't have a way. He wouldn't do anything. He wouldn't do he wouldn't makeup. Do, no, nothing. He, He's just been very, not very, but yeah. Turn left at the traffic light. Well, ever since, let me think when, I think like, not this, not this month, but last January, I don't even know. Like for quite a while, he's just been like not good at making plans with people and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. It's, it's a whole long story, but like. We were supposed to like, go to a gay mile, club at one point. Right to what I think like some of our friends that are girls or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and we were gonna do that at some point in the summer. Uh, but he bailed like on multiple that. Multiple times, and like we planned this like April or something like that that we were gonna start doing that in the summer. It never happened at all, not even once. He kept on like postponing it. I don't know. He's just been not good. And the thing that's really sketchy too is. Ever since I got my car, I've been the one to go over to him. Yeah. And he actually like would never go to any plan Keep ever. Keep right to what Early Oaks Road. Yeah, cause uh, like, cause by all means he's more than welcome to hang out with all of us. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause we all like Ryan. Ryan lives in freaking Worcester. He yeah. still comes down. You know what I mean? I mean I know it's like. You know, North Avenue, it's far, right but you know, you, you're able to make the commute, you yeah, know? Yeah, like he used to always, like before I had a car, he used to like literally get me and bring me back after, yeah. and, you know, that's so, like, uh, but the thing is, is like, I know, so it the only time he would ever like travel right anywhere for after plans the baseball after, uh, field. I got my car is, he would go to uh, Blackstone, uh -huh. uh, where, um, yeah, uh, Jen Girl is, right? Yeah, it, it is the same town, but the reason why he would go there is he would go with Nick and Mary uh -huh. to uh, play, like, Magic. Uh, yeah, no, not Magic. Yeah, it's, uh, I forget the name of the game. It's some, like, nerdy game. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, it, I think it's that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, at the and, yeah, and so like, but that would be the only time he would ever like go out of North out of Road with his car to hang out with anyone. So the thing that's really sketchy about this Jen situation is he's driving all the way to Natick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Framingham. Maybe. In one half mile, uh, turn left on Warren Street. Do that. I know. Just... Isn't that crazy? Uh, A plot so point? Anthony, so Anthony, well, so. It's Anthony thinks I should straight up stop hanging out with him. Because of Come on, let's look what he did. Like I said, he backed yeah. that. Yeah, and the like, thing is too is like and it's not like I don't. He's not gonna own up to it. I know. Mile, and the thing is too is I don't know how much Street. crazier he'll get, how much more he's gonna do. You know what I mean? Yeah. How far he's gonna go. So that's why I want to like slowly back off, uh, but like back off. You know what I mean? And another thing too is like uh, Cam. I don't know if I told you about Cam. Uh, but like we found out the reason why Turn Cam doesn't hang out with any of us anymore, it, and he only hangs out with like his friend named Jake who's gay, uh, and he only hangs out with his girlfriend too. But the reason why he doesn't hang out with anyone else is in one well, first of all, his girlfriend is Turn right on him, Standish Road. Like very verbally abusive and not a good girl and ridiculous. But uh, 
the reason why he doesn't hang out with anyone anymore, uh, except for Jake and his girlfriend, is because his girlfriend doesn't like anyone. Like, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't like any of us. So, like... Is there a reason behind why she doesn't like any of you? It's very, very ridiculous reasons, <laughs> or non-existent reasons. Very petty. It's like, uh... So, I honestly find it relatively... Like, oh, kind of fine if she doesn't like any of us. But the thing is, is like... Uh, for Cam to go to the extent of not wanting to associate with that's what we call it, whipped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's whipped. Yep, that is very true. Um, so yeah, no, but I don't, like really, like oh god, so I, I hate people like that. Because of that, and because of uh, the situation of Cam senior year being a, like an alcohol and psychosis, I think I told you that story, yeah. right? Uh, because of both of those situations, I don't even want to bother hanging out with him. Uh, either way, he hasn't been hanging out with us, but like whenever each girlfriend like breaks up with him or he breaks up with a girlfriend, the past few girlfriends, uh, he would like start hanging out with his friends a ton. But once he starts dating a new girl, he stops hanging out with everyone. Uh, oh god, one of those is, people. Yeah, except he, he started doing that though after his really long-term relationship. Uh, that really long-term relationship ended, uh, um... The second semester of junior year. Then he had a summer relationship right before senior year of college. But like because of that summer relationship is how he became that alcohol and his psychosis because he got into alcohol a crazy amount, remember. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so like at that point, like because of the Shane and Cam situation, I'm just like gonna end up like not really visiting over there much anymore. By all means, don't waste your gas. I know. That's a, that's the thing I realized, too. Gas is too. expensive. That's the thing I realized, too. It'll be nice to save gas. But also, what I'm going to use the gas towards, honestly, is, uh, but we're going to switch back and forth, is me and Anthony. Is I'll be able to finally hang out with him. The reason why I wasn't able to hang out with him much before is because I don't have any, like, weekend day off. But now that I have a Saturday, Saturday's off, and he does, too. We'll be able to hang out like Friday. Turn right on Standish so Road. Visiting him and also hang out with uh, his hometown friend Nick. Oh, you met Nick once. Uh, oh, wait, did you? I don't know actually. What does no, he I look like? Think, I don't think so actually. Okay. Uh, Anthony's in Long Meadow, right? East Long Meadow. Yeah, oh yeah. Far. Yeah, that's uh, why. That's where my uh, cousins live. Yeah, that's lit. Yeah, that's a nice town. Yeah, Long Meadow or East Long Meadow. Long Meadow, Turn East Long Meadow is Standish Road. Nice too, yeah, yeah, but I think Long East, Meadow is more. East Long Meadow is where. Uh, wealthy. I is where. Uh, Arriving Anthony's at from, 181 but, uh, Standish Long Road is where my on the right. Family is from. The teacher, the teacher. Yeah. The nice that, one, the yeah, one that yeah. you were stupid yep, to yep, let go. Yep. You broke up You're with right. her when she was in France. <laughs> I know. Oh my God, I'm such a savage. But by all means, sum it up. Yeah, I, I yeah. mean, I, I, by all means, do what, because, like, again, he, he's kind of crazy, so, yeah. I mean, I, I, <laughs> do what you feel is right for you, yeah. for your safety, and yeah. for, you know, by all means, if by distancing yourself, you just kind of slowly pulling away, then that's yeah. fine, um, because I, you know, like, you know, I, I wouldn't pull the trigger that fast, because, yeah. like you said, you don't know what he's going to do, yeah, um, cool. But yeah, so I think one, I think that's what you should do. So yeah. I think you're smart in doing that. Yeah. Two, I think it's smart that you're you've uh, put uh, Jen out of the uh, the loop Potential because uh, that she totally blew it uh, yeah. despite how obsessed she is with you. Yeah. If she really liked you, she wouldn't be agreeing and, to go. And I knew she's going to Dave and Buster's with Shane. Like alone. First of all, is that a date or is it like oh, a it hang? It's a date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like first of all, if it was just a hangout, don't you think they would? She would have invited you. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you, you know, you, you. That's how she met Shane was through you. I know. I know. So like, don't you think if it was just a hangout, <laughs> you would obviously be invited? I know. So like, the fact is that like they're both doing behind your back. Like, I know. That, so if she really liked you, she wouldn't have done that. So I mean, by all means, she's well, probably just stupid. Well, this is what I think is I think she does really like me and everything. I think she's just off. You know what I mean? Yeah. She had a four-year relationship. I think she's just like she's really conflicted because she there's two, these two guys she's really into, but like me, me, me more, uh, and she just doesn't know what to do. Yeah. And well, yeah. It's well, I mean, you said she was a little weird, so I yeah, mean. Yeah, that too. And I could tell it was a bad sign though how she was so obsessed how, with me how, so quick. So you know how's I mean? she weird? So she's weird in the sense like, 
uh, there's multiple reasons, but the biggest reason why I wouldn't want to date her is because it's like difficult to try to have conversation with her. I had to like reel it out of her. Uh, but but it's like a thing though, like not where she's not interested. She just like like staring at me in admiration and just horny and like it finds me so godly and sexy. <laughs> Which she's right about yeah. that, but um, but like it's it's like I definitely it's it's difficult to. She sounds like a stage five clinger. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's difficult to um, interact with her. But um, but, but so I have a question though about this situation. So considering I'm not interested in a relationship with her at all, what do you think about like do you do you think I should? No, actually, the, the thing I was thinking about regarding my friendship with Shane is I was thinking about <coughs> backing away, doing that whole backing away strategy because I just know he's going to be illogical now in any sort of way. Uh, but, like, if I back away over time, uh, but then at the point where I'm, like, done with her, uh, like, doing stuff with her and associating with her, I can... Uh, I feel like at that point I can uh, try and at that point knock on wood Shane might be a little more clear minded and a little more logical and a little less crazy maybe I don't know if he goes that path let's say if he goes that path uh, do you think I should try to like revamp the friendship again and if if so should I uh, address and resolve that situation uh, in the sense that I should, I should say, like, honestly, like, I'm, uh, I don't care to be in a relationship with her at all, uh, and it, I was happy that it ended up being that way, uh, but in the future, just don't do, you, you don't do that kind of stuff, or something, or maybe I wouldn't even have to say that, because potentially I could be in a relationship with another girl at that point, and what I could do is just not introduce him to any more girls, and also considering he's leaving in September for like a year. I mean, hey, already. let's not forget, he's been messaging Abby, too. Yeah. So, it's not only this girl, it's Abby. Yeah. So, so the, the, if you want, so, if you're gonna, you know, go down the, if you wanna think ahead, yeah. and think of, if, okay, if he has a clear <laughs> head, he's kinda not crazy but like impulsive or whatever but like yeah. if you i mean that's really up to you if you want to be friends if you want to yeah. kind of you know revamp the friendship i mm -hmm. mean really that's up to you yeah um honestly i mean that's a little messed up like oh I if agree. i if if say i was interested in a guy and then my friend was like hitting him up and oh i'd be I pissed know. you know going behind, behind i yeah. mean he pretty much and blackmail he blackmailed him he made me look right bad on Fox Street, like, that's not what a friend does right. a, friend, a friend is a supportive person that is by all means you know he's okay that's his girl stay away you know what yeah. i mean like so by all means he like he broke the bro code pretty much you know what i mean no. and like by all means like you said in some you know you're loose like you you have a loose yeah. you know yeah, I, I don't mind a loose at all bro if, code yeah, you know you have a less that. restrictive bro code yeah and that's the and like i'm fine with him like fucking carrie's sister and stuff yeah. like that but the thing is is like i have a feeling the reason why he was trying to contact her is trying to ruin that you know what I mean? I think he's trying to do anything to get to do anything bad against me and is like out to get me. Do you think there's something, a reason behind that? Have you guys had a falling out so, recently? No, I think 100% the reason is because he's starting to lose it and because he's doing anything to retaliate against the fact that uh, he's not getting exactly what he w wants regarding this Jen situation. <laughs> See, okay, so he's thinking about himself in a situation, but like... Yes. And the thing that's really horrifying and cringe and scary about this whole situation is he seems like so shocked that I like fucked her. Like as if it was like a girl he met and he introduced to me and that he was seeing and wanted a relationship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was as if he was like so delusional to the point that like like my position, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the thing is it's like I'm the one who introduced her to him. I clearly stated how I wanted to be potentially in a relationship with it. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's so weird how he somehow was shocked that I fucked her. How's that a shocker when she's the top three? You know what I mean? Oh my god, it's so weird. Well, maybe he had to act a certain way to make it sound like he wasn't bothered by it. I mean, obviously he was, but yeah. like, 
I don't know what his law. Well, so I don't know weird. the laws, but by all means, like isn't it a pity though? If that, you like, try to sum up what he did, honestly, in my opinion, I wouldn't yeah. be friends with him. Yeah, yeah. That, um, that, that's that's the same thing that like uh, like like Ryan. He's very. He doesn't fully pick sides with a lot of situations. Ryan uh, just is he's all very he, neutral. All he but cares, he like he was yeah. a little more on the side of like uh, stating like yeah, change ridiculous. Uh, but he doesn't really state the opinion. But like Tanya like says yeah, that's completely ridiculous and Gabe. Uh, and then yeah, like Anthony said, I should not even hang out with him anymore. Well, yeah. I mean, Ryan just wants to spend his time doing Chris Mills and uh, oh, Matt Lee impressions. And Carol impressions, yeah. Uh, that's, you always need a Ryan in the group, very carefree. <laughs> and that's the thing, too, is, like, I realize how... I don't know. It, 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 like, it's just really... Uh, the thing about this whole situation uh, is, like, it's a pity how, like, Shane and I, he was one of the closest people to me, you know what I mean? And now because of this, and he, he betrayed you. I know. And, 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 and the thing I feel bad about this, uh, I do and don't feel bad about like backing away from him. I do feel bad in the sense that like I was the main person there for him when his brother died, his brother and uh, brother's friend died. But at the same, and they're going through the murder trial still, probably for a long time. But at the same time, like I was there, blah blah this that this that. Why the hell would you do? You know see, I mean? the, see, that's the thing. There's there's no. And the thing I also wonder too. Sorry for cutting you off. Is like I I also contemplating like trying to act like being friends with him up until he leaves to Korea, but like but still doing like the thing of like decreasing the amount of time I'm spending with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, because I feel it's a situation I just don't want to deal with. You know what I mean? Like. Well, how, wait. How long is he gonna be in Korea? Like literally, he he's like claiming he's gonna try to be there in like for like two or three years. Well, he, it's definitely gonna be a year. Uh, but he claims he's gonna like after right after that ends he's gonna come back just for a little and then go back out for like another one three years or something like that uh, which the thing is though is like I know him and I have a feeling he thinks he's gonna be able to handle a year but he won't realize how long it is and he won't be able to handle oh it. yeah no it's long like I know. like especially like um like ESL jobs abroad like I was offered a job in China yeah I would have been gone for a uh, I would have been gone for literally 15 months more than a year yeah and uh first of all well then again it was also low pay too so I another reason why I didn't take too long yeah. by all means I, like I you know I love to travel but literally living in another country for like over a year or so yeah. is little and then like, a, another thing too about him is like about this situation is I think it's very much like a situation where just delusional about time in the sense that like Carrie thought she was going to be gone for six months on her journey. Well see they say that but realize, then once they actually experience it, yeah. it's going to suck. And yeah. I, given Especially given Shane's like, personality yeah, and mental illness, I feel like he will not last. I agree. Um, by all means I wish him the best of luck but I don't think Obviously, it's going to last. But yeah I agree. But, but let's but, let's theoretically say he will be gone for a year though. Yeah. Uh, and will commit to that. The thing I wonder is, uh, should I, like, I I will definitely decrease the hanging out with him. But do you think theoretically at this point, knowing this knowledge that we know about this situation, do you think I should yeah simmer down the hangouts and slowly like hang out with him less and less, uh, but still continue that up until uh, he leaves Korea, like, still hang out with him up until then. But obviously it'll be less frequent than over time, which I, at this moment... Well, what are you like, leaning towards? Well, what are you that, leaning towards? That's what I'm thinking about doing, because, like, I don't want to bother dealing with, like, uh, how intense it can get right before he leaves. Like, I wouldn't want, like, a crazy ending right before he leaves. Yeah, so that's... Um, so Okay, I but I feel also it's a good thing that I'm I won't be hanging out with him so frequently to the point that like a crazy thing can happen. Like I feel if I'm hanging out with him like rarely over time, it's like secret. Well, I don't know. if like I said, do whatever you feel what is best for yourself. Yeah. Um, and by all means, it's actually that's actually 
if you want to do the, the the ladder if you want to just kind of obviously you know uh make less frequently hang out with him but obviously still